some some residents uh, living around Mamubi Polyclinic are accusing government of unfairly uh, pulling down their structures. Now they say government gave them only two days to pack out and leave the area, a situation that has left many of them homeless. Excavators were seen in the early hours bringing down buildings. Nancy MFA Giradosi has been speaking to some residents uh, and a member of the traditional council who says that uh, they're going to take the MCE and government to court. So we're currently uh, standing behind the Mamobi Polyclinic and as you can see from the visuals around you are uh, buildings and structures that have been pulled down um, by the municipal assembly we understand. Well, we are yet to actually speak to the MC because we understand that um, he left here a while ago. We've been trying to reach him and we've been unsuccessful. But all you see here are people who have lost their property and um, running into thousands of Ghana cities. Well, they say that the land belongs to them. We cannot actually confirm that. But I've been joined by um, a member of the stool for this area. What's the name? What's your name again? Ni Abose Gideon. I'm a member of the Mamobi stool as well as the Osu stool. And we are saying this land belongs to the Osu stool or the Adokwewe family because government acquired this land from us. That's on the 9th of July 1963. Now you can see that 56 years down the land, the land has not been used for market. It has been rather be sold to individuals. So the family wrote a petition to last commission to surrender the land to the uh, family. So upon the thought of last commission, we have observed that maybe they could not return the land because they have self-interest on the land. And we have also threatened that when we don't get the land, we'll be proceeded to court because it's a breach of constitution. But when you acquire the land for a public use, and it has not been used for that purpose, then you must give the land back to the owner. So based on that, we try to confront them to return the land. And we notice that they have come to demolish to put a structure on them. But we have also done our background check, and we have noticed that the municipal assembly, which is the MCE we have at Ayawasu North, is not doing legal work over here. What they do is that they cook a story that they need a land to build a municipal assembly office. And then afterwards, you notice that the land has been sold to investors. We have a typical example of one of the land, which is by the Kanda Highway, opposite the good house area there. It's 1.6 acre land. This same story was told to us that they want to construct a municipal office over there. But we realized the land has been sold to Hussein Fakri, who is now constructing the cultural sports complex over there. We have another old bungalow, which is belonging to Agri which is under brigade by then. That is about one acre land, just a distance away from the hospital. That one too has been sold to an unknown person to us. And then the next target is that the, this land has been shared among the party officials. So they are now coming to demolish the 16 per severe acre land to, to pave way for them to have access to the land that they want to use for their selfish need. You're making a number of claims, and yeah. I'm, I'm asking, has the MC come to your stool or, yeah, for the traditional council to decide or talk about this particular demolition, or when did you get to know about it? Uh, we got to know about the demolition exercise that was on Friday, and since he has been to the office, he has never spoken to any of the royal houses of o the Osu stool. What he did is that he says the land belongs to them and he's only dealing with Zongo chiefs. So we have a copy of documents that they have written that he and the MC with the Zongo chiefs have come together to help to develop whatever land it has been sold to each and every one of the investors they have brought. And there will be no any hindrances. So we are trying to send a message to the Paramount chief to come ahead of his people because these are their villages. If they sit and their villages are being taken away from them, then their family is left with nothing to talk about. But, but I see that, I mean, the structures that you see here are mostly made of wood. So I understand that they are squatters. They are not supposed to be here, are they? Yeah, when you look at it, they are squatters. But you ask yourself, how did the squatters get on the land without the government notice? It is not just a number of these hundred people who are around here. We have about 60,000 people who are squatters on the government land. So what is the government doing about those squatters as well? Because it's the same piece of land. So the government is aware of them. They have been paying property rates and then rent over here to the EME for all this while. Why wouldn't they reject their property rates or the rent they have been paying to them? 
tell them that they are squatters, so we are not taking your money. But you extort money from them, and then later you come to sack them, which is very bad. Finally, what actions are you going to be taking? Before I speak to the resident, what actions are your um, traditional council or the Osusu going to be taking? Are you going to court? Yeah, definitely the stool will be going to court. But before we proceed to the court, we have to mount pressure on the land for no development to take place. Until the injunction has been served on them, we are not going to accept any development on this land. So that is our stand now. Thank you very much. Um, and so he is a member of the stool. What's your name again? Ni Abose Gideon. Ni Abose Gideon is a member of the stool. He says that they will be do ensure that this land is not claimed by government entirely to put up whatever structure that he wants to put. But I see that a lot of people are standing um, behind me because some of them are back here to salvage some of the properties that they have lost um, in this particular um, demolition. I, I see that this woman has been standing here for a while. Meda said, Naya Frozen. My partner is from Samira. Samira, now Oda is not coming. My partner is from Mide. Ah, I am Mide. Sorry, I am Mide. Please come closer to me. So she tells me that this is where um, her structure was actually situated. If you see behind me, this is what she says. Now a two bedroom and I say then. My partner is saying. Now a a single room and I say a shop and I now operate. My partner, Mide, a timber hall. Mide, a timber hall. Now, the bay na mama will notice ni se tu efi ase. Me pacho, taze no. Me da taze ni de me ton emu wa kwa yon hon, anwa mu wa kwa yon hon. Anti taze ni me da hon na me ti se. O kron fwa ba ho. Ano ma teke teke ha se. O mu tu cha pitches. Ano mu ponte ponte. Ano ma soro piye ye. Mi soro piye ni me kwa misu ma ambisa. Ana makwa donso, e dwale ni suwa hase, e dwale ni ni, ana makwa donso, e na mesa haba daye. Adeti ye frare, ono mo baka se se, omu maye, man, sande, se yantu mfiri ha. Nti omu kachi ondene, wo ta se mbiya? Debi mbide me ambisa asa mbiya, asa ma me bisa asa, mi se nti, five days na omu di tu ya no, five days, four days na omu di tu ya no, four days na edi tu ni pa. Kamu maya one month to kurang kaya beti mada ya tuha. Inti si ya wanya ma we ye free oda ya bubu na we hiva. Mene ma na si ya bonti mini bebiya mene 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 ma ba ko. Mene bebiya mene 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 ma ko. Mene ma ni na ba mi pin kurang ko dem. Mene ma ni na si ya bonti. Inti o wangkola na wangkola na wote. Wangkola ahe. Mi pacho mi wangkola for. Na omo we hi. Omo ni omo di jina hasi. Inti si ya o jina hasi o free ya o ko. Mi pacho mi ni bebi amba kwa di sa mi mada ha mi ni bebi ame ba kwa di sa mada school ne ni mo mi ni bebi ame ba kwa be mi mi ni ndasu wa bebi a mi mi ni bebi ame ba kwa na ubabet na ase no wa you told said the land ne aye for obi ana ase wa usoro ya na besi dani oh enye se ya usoro ne besi dem ne ye ya kwa he ma mo bi pay farm a he phone mo. Omu no mama ya kwansi ya ya mbubo ansani ya mbubo ya. Enye si ya sori ya ni ya bata na wo. Alright. Ose fro se? Patua ya fro me Samira. Okay. So Samira is one of the residents who have just lost her properties. Now she tells me that she acquired this land by going to the land owners at the stool. And they actually gave her the land. And so she does not understand why the building was taken from her. She says she has four children that she lived in in this particular structure that has been brought down. And as we speak, she has moved her things outside. and have no idea. She has no idea where exactly she's going to be living. But I want to speak to some more of this. Um, but also, you know what I say, Anna? That's now, so oh, that's your wife? Yeah. So what are you going to be doing? We don't have any place to go, sister. That's another I'm speaking to you. We don't have any place to go. I'm standing it, sister. What, what time did they start this demolition exercise? This morning. What time? Around four, four something. Three something. Three something. Three something. And, and, and you were inside. You heard the noise. I hear the noise outside. This is my room. Yeah. This is my room. So I hear the noise outside there. Then I stood up. When I stood up, I went outside, rolled to this side, and saw them. And come on, told my wife that they are here. So, please. We have to quick, fast. Almost, already yesterday, we packed our things, some. So, I don't know how to say, sister. So what is the plan? Why are you taking your wife and your and children? I have three children. 
am I going to take care of them? If my wife leave me right now and go to some place, if my wife leave me right now and go to some place, and a man took him, how can I have anything to say, sister? I don't have anything to say. So what do you have to tell government that's watching? We need his help. Even say they told us it was, uh, I think it was Saturday or Saturday or when they came and wrote our names here that they sent it to the office that maybe they will compensate us uh, a money that maybe two years, two years for a rent. Sister, I'm telling you the true fact. I'm telling you the true fact. Eh? Nothing. So you just quick me from your land. The land belongs to government. Have you seen? The land belongs to government. I didn't say that the land is not belong to government. Are you getting me? So my problem is that uh, if the land belongs to government, oh, you have to come and sit with us. And say that, oh, please. The land belongs to government, so we want to even put to quick. In these days, I'm telling you, if I'm lying and I go to the sea, the sea to take me. Eh? From then, there's not anybody serve us any letter. There's not anybody serve us any letter. There's not anybody to come and sit with us here. Are you getting me? So I. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all right. So um, that is that, that, that is that is uh, the husband of the woman I spoke to earlier. Um, he says that as he stands, he does he has no have any idea where he'll be taking the wife and the children because they have been stranded. They've been left without a notice. They were not given any notice. Just two days warning, and they are here to demolish the exercise. But I see that there are others also standing here. Let me just pick the few thoughts from them. You you also live here. Where's your structure? Also a structure away here. Yeah, ma'am, Okay, here. In fact, Mr. Sano Oha. I dying me and sir. Now, you're by a chip, I'm a two day, I've been away before. I'm a two. Yen, you have a bit of food in our two yen. Now, hire Bibri. Now, I'm going to my time, I say, oh, my dear, I'm going to get this out. I'm going to be a government to be an hour, two minutes, we cry. I'm going to go by home. That's what I'm going to say. Yet, you may well here. Gidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidigidig